What up, team viewers at home? My name is Malcolm Eugene. It's your boy, Three Fingers. And this is the Entertainment Circle. Welcome to the Entertainment Circle, where we're going to talk about some of the hottest shows, movies, just about anything in the entertainment industry. Yes. So let's just get things started off with Gotham. They came back from their uh, winter break, and yeah, they're kind of late in the game. They are, they, they, they are, they are kind of late in the game. But you know what? It was a really, really chilling episode. God. Yeah, sorry about that for yes. those at home watching. But yeah, Mr. Freeze finally made his appearance. Mm -hmm on Gotham. And for me, Gotham is one of those shows that really started out really, really slowly. Really, and, really and it's slow. finally now getting to a point to where, okay, this is getting really, really interesting. Yeah. So they're really, really sticking to the comics when they're talking about Mr. Freeze and uh, his uh, wife being sick, if yeah. you guys have read that comic. So anyways, let's get into our next topic, which is pretty awesome. The Road to WrestleMania. I know this is something you're really excited for, being I'm a wrestling excited. fan. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm a big wrestling fan, been a wrestling fan pretty much all my life. And this year's WrestleMania with a lot of top players being injured, like John Cena, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, all those people being injured. They're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel this year at WrestleMania. But they got a good main event, Shane O'Mac versus The Undertaker. Yeah, Shane O'Mac is back. Yes. And it's, this is exciting because this just brings back the nostalgia from the Attitude Era, yes. back when Vince McMahon bought WCW and then they played it off to where Shane O'Mac was running the show. They're bringing all that back. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. And really, to be honest, I, the only way they can do the storyline is if Shane O'Mac beats The Undertaker. Hey, I mean, he's already lost the WrestleMania once, so what's, what's another loss under his belt? Well, let's get into our last topic now. Did you see the Ghostbusters trailer? I did actually. Uh, the new Ghostbusters trailer. The new yeah, Ghostbusters I'm, I'm, trailer. I saw it. I'm kind of just like this right now. I'm a big fan of Melissa McCarthy, but uh, I'm kind of iffy about this movie. Yeah, I don't know. All female cast are definitely changing things up from the original, but I really think they can pull it off. They really have a strong uh, casting for the actual roles that they have going on. So. Ghostbusters comes out on July 15th, so it comes out later this summer, so it's definitely a movie we're gonna probably go see and try to review uh, oh, yeah. for you guys on, on another entertainment circle. Oh, yeah, I'm not a big Ghostbusters fan, but I think this is gonna be the movie that can get me into the Ghostbusters series, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think this movie is gonna be a success? Let us know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and of course, Visit us at TeenViewMagazine.com. My name is Malcolm Eugene. And your boy Three Fingers. And that's the Entertainment Circle.